divided yeah. country. So let's try to do that with two women on opposite sides of the political spectrum, CNN political commentators, Alice Stewart and Maria Cardona. All right, Maria, good morning to both of you. And we owe you a debt of gratitude because you're yes. with us here in the crazy <laughs> overnight hours. Um, good morning. This is what unity is about. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, Maria, let me begin with you just for a moment because I, I think let's take a moment. We're, we're only a few hours into this, right? Um, right. The, the history here, Kamala Harris, first woman, uh, first black woman, first Indian American woman to, to serve as vice president. Your reaction? It's it's overwhelming, Jim. I was on the air yesterday when they made the the announcement when CNN called it for Joe Biden. I was on CNN Español, and uh, I did exactly what I'm told Van Jones did on the air. I cried because there was it was just completely overwhelming the flood of emotion. As a Latina mom, I have a Latina daughter and a Latino son who are able now to see what the possibilities are after four years of so many communities, including the Latino community, being attacked, being marginalized, being dehumanized, being hunted by the rhetoric that this president has inspired. And so for Joe Biden to have picked Kamala Harris and to see her last night on stage speaking to my little girl directly mm -hmm. about the possibilities in terms of what this country has in store for her was just, it filled my heart and it filled my soul. And I know that that did for so many Americans as well. Alice Stewart, as a Republican strategist, uh, I wonder what you think post this election happens to Trumpism, right? Because the president still got 7 million more votes than he did in 2016. And 70 million plus people voted for him, the most ever to vote for a losing candidate. The margins were razor thin in some of these key states. Is this the new Republican Party? He, he certainly has captured the voice of Republicans, 70 million of them, in, in fact. And what he stands for and the message that he delivers and the the ideology he delivers uh, is strong. And he has unified the Republican Party in terms of having such tremendous support amongst his base. And and I think what we do moving forward is is it's part of the action item conversation and the autopsy report. But I, I think we have to remember that while People might not agree with the tone and tenor that this president brought forth. I have a lot of issues with it, and I've said them uh, publicly often. You have to remember, peel back the layers, and it is the policies that he represents and the fact that he is giving voice to these 70 million people across the country, and they are united behind him, and they look forward to how the party comes out across this. But, Poppy, if I can say this, please, that I watched everything that happened yesterday, and I, too, like Maria, I was, I was chilled. I was um, touched in my heart. And when Kamala Harris said, I might be the first woman in this office, but I will yeah. not be the yeah. last. And the camera pan to little girls, it's yeah. heartwarming. Yeah. It's inspiring. And I'm actually encouraged to see what type of unity we have in this country yeah. moving forward. Listen, I'm a dude. And uh, I, I was <laughs> moved as well, right? Uh, I'm I moved sure as well. You were, Jim. Well, you're yeah. also a dad of a little girl, Shudo. For sure. That's and right. I thought of that, and she was watching. I had her well past her bedtime, Aww. but she was watching. Uh, she was watching last night. Um, it was an important moment. Let me play devil's advocate here for a moment, because yes, 70 million people voted for him, but he's going to be a good five, six, or seven million behind Joe Biden, right? Uh, he underperformed his party in these races, right? Losing the White House while they gained seats in the House and, uh, you know, maybe lost only a couple in the Senate. And, and folks, you know, when, it, when Jimmy Carter lost after one term or George H.W. Bush lost after one term, they didn't say, well, that party will forever be defined by that. In fact, they said the opposite. You know, I want, I want to, Maria, can, can we overstate? You know, is, is it possible that if not all, but many Republicans say, well, actually, we need a course correction here? You know, that I think is going to be the question of the moment moving forward, Jim, in terms of 
how are Republicans going to deal with this humongous presence? And we all know he's not going to go quiet into the night, right? We are all wondering whether he is going to try to grip onto the Oval Office and to the Resolute Desk with super glue, and we're gonna have to peel him off. And who is that going to be? But, uh, you know, broadly, he and his supporters, frankly, specifically his son, have already acknowledged and, and kind of said, look, Republicans who you want to run in 2024, why aren't you coming out and defending Donald Trump? I think signaling we are not going to leave you guys alone. We are going to hold as much as we can our grip on the Republican Party. So I think that it is really going to be incumbent upon Republican leaders to figure out what the way forward is for their party. I know that so many Republicans, those folks who worked on the Lincoln Project, everyone who understood how dangerous Donald Trump was for the country and for their Republican Party, were hoping that they could just start clean with a clean slate after this election, when if and when jo Joe Biden won. And that hasn't happened yet. Will it? We'll see. I think it's going to take all of us, frankly, working together. We'll help Republicans with that if they want it. Alice, you're from Georgia, and there is right. a very good chance that Joe Biden will flip Georgia blue uh, for the first time since in 28 years it's been. And I wonder if you could just speak to if it happens, is it Biden? Is it the moment? Is it Stacey Abrams work on voter turnout? What what is the reason? There's uh, several reasons. I, I speak with uh, folks there and, and those in the Secretary of State's office, and a lot of it is um, in Atlanta, the Fulton County and DeKalb County area, the large number of uh, Democrats that have moved into that area. And some of them have said that Trump's demeanor did give them heartburn and it turned some of them off. And, and look, it has been a long time coming in terms of this blue w wave coming into, into Georgia in terms of the presidential. I am not convinced that we will lose those seats to the Democrats. It's a possibility, but I'm not convinced. And to your point, Stacey Abrams has moved mountains to to help uh, energize the Democratic Party, as well as the Black Voters Matters group, Latasha Brown, and, and their organizational skills in Georgia, starting when Stacey Abrams uh, ran for governor, mm -hmm. it has been That's tremendous. Good. But the, But the overall party, the Republican Party in Georgia it is still looking to galvanize. They're going to put uh, boots on the ground, money in the coffers, and every effort they can possibly do to keep those uh, the seats uh, Republican. I think that is critical because it, it's important to keep, I think, for the balance of power and for democracy in this country to have divided government. I think the America will be better if with mm. Joe Biden... White House and, and Democrats controlling the House, that we need the Republicans to control the Senate uh, to keep the balance of power. And Georgians, Republicans in Georgia are going to work extremely hard to make sure that that's the case. You all of a sudden, your you know, home state became the center of the political universe mm -hmm. for the next nine weeks, Bobby, that's for if, sure. If, if, I'm Maria, I'm sorry, we have to leave it. We have to leave it there, but we'll have you back very soon. Next time. <laughs> next time. Thanks, yeah. ladies. Alice Stewart. Thank you. Maria Cardona. Yeah, next time I'm just going to let all three of you guys talk so, so you get the time because oh. there's so much.